This is the new automatic mower from John Deere and I've had it for about a week and a half now trying it out in my garden. The key features of this mower are it's a mulching mower so it takes a very fine clip of your lawn and then leaves the clippings on the lawn to mulch into the grass. It goes on and works a bit like your central heating. It can go on in the morning, it can go on in the evening, it's completely programmable and you can decide on the schedule that you want it to cover. Tango can deal with any shape of lawn. Um, as long as the perimeter wire follows the edge of the lawn then Tango will cut within that shape. What it can't deal with is steps. When you first get the Tango mower from John Deere, the guys come round and they put a perimeter wire round your garden and you can see the perimeter wire here. If you have the lawn mower permanently, they'll sink it under the lawn so that you don't have to see this green wire running right round your lawn. So I've had Tango, for, as I say, for about a week and a half and what you can see is a nice mow up to the perimeter line and then here you can see the grass and the weeds are starting to grow through. Um, so this is about two and a half weeks growth here and you can see that Tango has been doing its job. Okay when you first get the Tango it comes with a base unit, a charger unit. Now I've just got this in my setup in my garden on a 10 meter cable but you can have it tucked away in your garden shed and provide a little mower flap for it for it to come out so you don't actually have to even see the thing. When Tango's mowed your lawn, it will automatically home back to its charging station for a charge. Or you can tell it, just mow until you sense the charge is getting a bit low, then Tango will head back and find its charging station. Now, I've had Tango for, as I say, about a week and a half, and it's doing a really good job on my lawn. It's doing a really good mow. If I had better grass, then I'd most probably get a better finish on it. What I'm really enjoying about the Tango is I really don't have to do anything with it. I've set the programming to the, to the timing I want, so I don't even have to see Tango mowing if I don't want to. One of the other advantages of Tango is I don't have to worry about cleaning my children's toys off the garden too much. Tango will push most things out of the way, and if he finds something that it can't push out of the way, it just makes a little beep and trundles off and keeps mowing somewhere else. The downside to this mower is the £2,000 price tag, which is pretty hefty. You can actually pay someone for two, maybe three years with that money to come and mow your lawn. The other downside with Tango is that it doesn't know when it's raining. So if it does get caught in a, in a shower, it will just keep mowing away. You can't tell it to stop because it's damaging the grass. Another downside with the Tango mower is that if you like a stripy lawn, the Tango won't give you that. It mows randomly, so it just trundles across your lawn in a random pattern because it doesn't want to leave any wheel marks in your lawn. The other thing about the Tango mower is it doesn't go past its perimeter line, so you will end up, unless your lawn's absolutely ideal for Tango, with some grass that needs trimming. So you'll still need a grass trimmer and you'll still need to do that job. So the John Deere Tango, an absolutely fantastic mower, but with such a hefty price tag, it's a real luxury. To read the full review of this mower and hundreds of other mowers, go to witch.co.uk. Mm -hmm.